Hey guys, How To Tuesday this week. And today you can see behind us, we have a beautiful sky and we are in the Florida Keys. And in the Florida Keys, the sun is incredibly strong. That is something that you really, really need to be careful of. If you are a fishing guide, it is the, of the utmost importance that you take care of your skin from the time that you start guiding all the way to the end. And if you take care of yourself, you can add many, many, many years to your guide career and maybe to your life. I mean, melanoma is no joke. So it starts with a pair of sunglasses, good polarized sunglasses. You absolutely have to have them to be able to sight fish out here. Everybody wears them. There's a reason because you can see into the water. So if you're somebody that's getting ready to go down on a fishing vacation, make sure that your glasses are polarized. It doesn't matter that they're expensive. You can get very cheap polarized sunglasses very expensive polarized very expensive glasses don't necessarily aren't necessarily polarized make sure your glasses are polarized they either will say polarized or you can take another pair of polarized glasses turn them and they'll turn black that's the way that you tell if they're polarized i'm going to put them on right now because it's super bright out here so <clears throat> taking care of your skin in the sun is unbelievably important sunscreen is is really really important and if you are not uh, used to being down here. The rule of thumb is day one, day two, day three, cover up, man. Take extra precautions on day one. Don't be the guy that comes down here and on day one, you're like, man, I want to get a little extra sun. That is a big mistake. First day, you should be wearing long sleeves, long pants, buff, and, and a hooded shirt like I'm going to tell you about here in just a second. Cover up, make go really, really careful on the first day. If you want to try to get some sun to go home, you do it on the last day. Don't do it on the first day. You can make a terrible mistake. It can ruin your entire trip. So when I'm taking care of myself, one of the things that I'm looking to do always is to cover my face. And that is with the buff. The buff is where I cover my face. I'm going to wear a, a baseball cap, sunglasses. I'm going to wear this buff so that it covers all the way up past my sunglasses, right up here. This also blocks light out so that I can see fish in the water better. And I wanna tell you about this new shirt that I got on right now. This is Hook's brand new shirt. I was so excited when I got this shirt because I, the way that I pick a shirt in the morning is I reach into my drawer and I find the softest one and I pick that. I love soft t-shirts. Fishing shirts have not been soft. They, I, you know, I, I don't know. They're not soft. I like soft fabrics. I love it. This shirt is called the Waypoint shirt. It's made out of recycled water bottles. I also have on the Waypoint shorts. They have Waypoint pants. And this is the softest material. This is the softest t-shirt I, I wear of any t-shirt, not just a, a fishing shirt. This t-shirt is the most comfortable shirt I've ever worn. That's cool because it's, it's great for polling, you, it stretches, it's fantastic for that, there's no restriction whatsoever. But this is the part that I really like about this shirt, is that it has a hood, and the hood actually works. So if I want to, I can just kind of put the hood up just a little bit to protect the back of my neck, and uh, the back of your neck is where you're getting hammered. And even if you have a buff on, a lot of times there's a little line between the top of your t-shirt and the buff where you're getting a line of sunburn right underneath your buff, right over the top of your t-shirt. The hood stops that completely. And as you start getting a lot of sun, you're gonna probably ha end up looking like, like, like I'm about to show you right now. And that is buff up all the way to the sunglasses over the top of my hat. Then the hood comes up over the top of that and I have double protection on the back of my neck. My face is totally covered and everything really, but the back of my hands, which I could do with sun gloves. If I was probably a little smarter than I am, I would be wearing sun gloves and then long pants. And that is how you protect yourself from the sun. I know a lot of people come down to the Florida Keys to get some sun. That's great. Just be incredibly careful. And if you decide that you're gonna get a lot of sun on your vacation, do it on the last couple of days, not on the very first couple of days because you can get sick, you can get blistered, you can really hurt yourself bad in this Florida sun if you're not used to it. So that's How To Tuesday, how to take care of yourself. And don't forget, one of the things that I talked about was just covering up. That's my way of doing it. An additional way is to use sunscreen, obviously. You can use sunscreen 
And if, if I'm going to put sunscreen on, I'm going to do it in the morning in front of the bathroom mirror. And I'm going to look at just like, a, you know, putting on putting on lotion or looking at yourself in the mirror, making sure that you've got every inch covered. You didn't forget anything. Do it in the morning before you leave the house, because it takes about an hour to an hour and a half. Maybe some sunscreens are even two hours before they reach uh, maximum effectiveness. So if you put it on and you're like, oh, I'm getting a little sun and you put on sunscreen, it doesn't work immediately. It works about an hour later. So if you put the sunscreen on in the morning in front of the mirror, you make sure you don't miss any spots. By the time that you know 10 o'clock rolls around and the really strong sun's coming around, you're fully protected. You'll notice that you get a lot less sun like that if you put it on first thing in the morning and if you're looking in the mirror and making sure that you got everything covered. Personally, I feel much better if I don't use sunscreen and I cover up. I, I wanna make sure that the fabrics that I'm using are good UV protection. Um, but I prefer covering up. And usually, if I'm fishing a lot, I'm doing both. I'm covering up with sunscreen and I'm covering up with fabrics. That's How To Tuesday, how to take care of yourself in the sun. It is no joke. Don't think it's a joke. And if you're a young fishing guide, man, take care of yourself right away and you'll be in be much better shape. All right, see you next week.